In this tutorial, we will go back into the project which produced our clean contacts output, and we will edit and add a few more project steps. We will add an additional month of contact records and perform a lookup to combine our contacts data with third-party information. We will apply these steps and make other changes in order to produce a clean and complete set of data which meets the business needs of the marketing team. Let's now return to the data library. Here we see the clean contacts answer set we created in the previous tutorial. Let's re-enter the source project which produced this answer set so we can make some changes and updates based on the new requests. And we can republish the contacts data for use in a dashboard. The first request is to include additional contact records from the month of October. The marketing team has indicated that this data can be found in our shared S3 repository. So let's perform an append now and we can import the October records on the fly. To import a data set into Paxata's data library, click on the green import button. Here we can import one or more data sets from any configured data source that we have permissions to view and import from. Let's navigate to the S3 data source and open the tutorials bucket. Select the October 2018 contacts file to add it to your list of data sets to prepare for import, shown in the top right quadrant. The bottom right quadrant shows a preview of the data set highlighted in the top right quadrant. The preview area also allows you to edit the columns by removing them, renaming them, and reordering them. The bottom left quadrant provides a variety of import and parsing options. The options you will see depend on the data source and the file format of the data set. In this case, the October contacts data is an XML file, but Paxata has built-in parsing and file detection intelligence to ensure the data is properly parsed and imported in a tabular structure. Click on Override to get a glimpse into the original structure of the data and the ability to select a different node level to use for the path. Paxata can also parse and flatten JSON files in a similar manner. This makes it easier to profile and to combine with other data sets as business needs require. Let's click on Finish to import a snapshot of the entire file into Paxata's data library where it can be timestamped, tagged, and versioned for data lineage and governance purposes. Clicking on the Select button next to the recently imported data set will bring us to the Append view where we can see which columns Paxata has automatically matched and which columns, if any, need our attention to select for matching. Despite differences in column names and missing columns, Paxata provides us the flexibility to resolve and reconcile columns interactively. We can select matches from each dropdown and see how our selections impact the data in the grid. Unmatched columns will be included in the data set and backfilled with blanks in case we want to populate them later. Our October contacts data includes an additional column called Score and is lacking the country column. This may be due to the October file, including only U.S. contacts. It becomes clear to us that we ought to apply many of the previous transformations to this October data. Using the Steps panel, Paxata enables us to adapt to such changes by reordering and modifying any of our steps to the ideal data prep workflow. Simply click on the Append step and drag it down to the second position right after the starting step. Notice how our column matches are retained, and the data grid updates to reflect the append in this position of our workflow. Let's save it here and click on the top step to see the subsequent steps be applied to the fully merged contacts data. We see the white space issue has persisted in the full name column, so let's select the trim step and re-enter edit mode. Let's make this step dynamic by applying it based on the criteria that any string column should be trimmed. Save that change and reselect the top step once again. Using the Sources filtergram, we can filter and interact with the initial records or just the appended records and see how and to what extent the data is combined. This view is also very useful after joining multiple data sets, as we will see in the next tutorial. Now that we have our fully merged set of contact records, let's set a lens right here to capture this view of the data. A Publish Lens can be used to save different subsets or segments of the data within our workflow and be used in conjunction with business rules to flag data records in need of cleanup, resolution, or further review. 
Any lens we add to our project can be automated and exported to various destinations and becomes part of our repeatable, governed workflow. In the next tutorial, we will combine our merged contacts data with third-party information to help the marketing team better understand key contacts based on industry segments and revenue metrics. Thank you.